Meerkats are generally tame animals. However, they are unsuitable as a pet as they can be aggressive and have a strong, ferret-like odor. In South Africa meerkats are used to kill rodents in rural households and lepidopterans in farmlands. Meerkats can transmit rabies to humans, but yellow mongooses appear to be more common vectors. It has been suggested that meerkats may even limit the spread of rabies by driving out yellow mongooses from their burrows. Meerkats are generally not persecuted given their economic significance in crop protection, though they may be killed due to rabies control measures to eliminate yellow mongooses. Meerkats can also spread tick-borne diseases. Meerkats have been widely portrayed in movies, television and other media. A popular example is Timon from the Lion King franchise, who is an anthropomorphic meerkat. Meerkat Manor a television program produced by Oxford Scientific Films that was aired on Animal Planet, focused on groups of meerkats in the Kalahari that were being studied in the Kalahari Meerkat Project. The meerkat or surricate is a small mongoose found in southern Africa. It is characterized by a broad head, large eyes, a pointed snout, long legs, a thin tapering tail, and a brindled coat pattern. The head and body length is around 24 to 35 cm and the weight is typically between 0.62 and 0.97 kg, 1.4 and 2.1 pounds. The coat is light gray to yellowish brown with alternate, poorly defined light and dark bands on the back. Meerkats have foreclaws adapted for digging and have the ability to thermoregulate to survive in their harsh, dry habitat. Three subspecies are recognized. Meerkats are highly social, and form packs of 2 to 30 individuals each that occupy home ranges around 5 square kilometers, 1.9 square miles, in area. There is a social hierarchy. Generally dominant individuals in a pack breed and produce offspring, and the non-breeding, subordinate members provide altruistic care to the pups. Breeding occurs around the year, with peaks during heavy rainfall. After a gestation of 60 to 70 days, a litter of 3 to 7 pups is born. They live in rock crevices in stony, often calcareous areas, and in large burrow systems in plains. The burrow systems, typically 5 meters 16 feet, in diameter with around 15 openings, are large underground networks consisting of 2 to 3 levels of tunnels. These tunnels are around 7.5 centimeters, 3.0 in high at the top and wider below, and extend up to 1.5 meters, 4 feet 11 in into the ground. Burrows have moderated internal temperatures and provide a comfortable microclimate that protects meerkats in harsh weather and at extreme temperatures. Meerkats are active during the day, mostly in the early morning and late afternoon. They remain continually alert and retreat to burrows when sensing danger. They use a broad variety of calls to communicate among one another for different purposes, for example to raise an alarm on sighting a predator. Primarily insectivorous, meerkats feed heavily on beetles and lepidopterans, arthropods, amphibians, small birds, reptiles, and plant material in their diet. Commonly living in arid, open habitats with little woody vegetation, meerkats occur in southwestern Botswana, western and southern Namibia, northern and western South Africa the range barely extends into southwestern Angola. With no significant threats to the population, the meerkat is listed as least concern on the IUCN Red List. Meerkats are widely depicted in television, movies and other media. The meerkat is listed as least concern on the IUCN Red List. There are no significant threats except low rainfall, which can lead to deaths of entire packs. Populations appear to be stable. Meerkats occur in several protected areas such as the Kegalagadi Transfrontier Park and the Mokgadikgadi National Park. The Kalahari Meerkat Project, founded by Tim Clutton Brock, is a long-term research project run by four different research groups that aims focuses on understanding cooperative behavior in meerkats. It began in the Gemsbach National Park, now part of Kegalagadi Transfrontier Park, but was shifted to the Kuruman River Reserve in 1993. In 1776, Johann Christian Daniel von Schreber described a meerkat from the Cape of Good Hope, giving it the scientific name Vibra suricata. The generic name suricata was proposed by Anselm Gaden Desmarest in 1804, who also described a zoological specimen from the Cape of Good Hope. The present scientific name suricata suricata was first used by Oldfield Thomas and Harold Schwann in 1905 when they described a specimen collected at Walkerstrom. They suggested there were four local meerkat races in the Cape and Dealfontine, Gramstown, Orange River Colony and Southern Transvaal, and Clipfontine respectively. The meerkat is a social mammal, 
forming packs of 2 to 30 individuals each comprising nearly equal numbers of either sex and multiple family units of pairs and their offspring. Members of a pack take turns at jobs such as looking after pups and keeping a lookout for predators. Meerkats are a cooperatively breeding species, typically the dominant breeders, in a pack produce offspring, and the non-breeding, subordinate, helpers, provide altruistic care for the pups. This division of labor is not as strictly defined as it is in specialized eusocial species, such as the breeder-worker distinction in ants. Moreover, meerkats have a clear dominance hierarchy with older individuals having a higher social status. A study showed that dominant individuals can contribute more to offspring care when fewer helpers were available, subordinate members increased their contributions if they could forage better. Packs live in rock crevices in stony areas and in large burrow systems in plains. A pack generally occupies a home range, 5 square kilometers, 1.9 square miles, large on average but sometimes as big as 15 square kilometers, 5.8 square miles, containing many burrows 50 to 100 meters, 160 to 330 feet, apart, of which some remain unused. A 2019 study showed that large burrows towards the center of a range are preferred over smaller ones located near the periphery, this was especially the case with packs that had pups to raise. A pack may shift to another burrow if the dominant female has little success finding prey in an area. The area near the periphery of home ranges is scent marked mostly by the dominant individuals. There are communal latrines, 1 square kilometer, 0.39 square miles, large, close to the burrows. Packs can migrate collectively in search of food, to escape high predator pressure and during floods. Meerkats are highly vigilant, and frequently survey their surroundings by turning their heads side to side. Some individuals always stand sentry and look out for danger. Vocal communication is used frequently in different contexts. For instance repetitive, high-pitched barks are used to warn others of predators nearby. They will generally retreat to their burrows for safety, where they will remain until the danger is gone. They stick their heads out of burrows to check the area outside, still barking. Mobs of meerkats fiercely attack snakes that may come near them. Raptors such as badalers, martial eagles, Tawny eagles, and pale chanting goshawks are major aerial predators. On the ground, meerkats may be threatened by bad-eared foxes, black-backed jackals, and cape foxes. Encounters between members of different packs are highly aggressive, leading to severe injuries and often deaths. 19% of meerkats die by conspecific violence, which is the highest recorded percentage among mammals. Females, often the heaviest ones, try to achieve. Dominance over the rest in many ways such as fierce competition are taking over from the leader of the pack. A study showed that females who grew faster were more likely to assert dominance, though males did not show such a trend. Males seeking dominance over groups tend to scent mark extensively and are not submissive. They often drive out older males in a group and take over the pack themselves. Subordinate individuals face difficulties in breeding successfully. For instance, dominant females often kill the litters of subordinate ones. As such, subordinate individuals might disperse to other packs to find mates during the breeding season. Some subordinate meerkats will even kill the pups of dominant members in order to improve their own offspring's position. It can take days for emigrants to secure entry into other packs, and they often face aversion from the members. Males typically succeed in joining existing groups, they often inspect other packs and their burrow systems in search of breeding opportunities. Many often team up in coalitions for as long as two months and travel nearly 5 kilometers 3.1 miles a day on twisted paths. Dispersal appears to be less common in females, possibly because continuing to stay within a pack can eventually win them dominance over other members. Dispersed females travel longer than coalitions and tend to start groups of their own or join other similar females, they aim for groups of emigrant males or those without a breeding female. Subordinate females, unlike subordinate males, might be ousted from their packs, especially in the latter part of the dominant female's pregnancy, though they may be allowed to return after the birth of the pups. Meerkats have a broad vocal repertoire that they use to communicate among one another in several contexts. Many of these calls may be combined by repetition of the same call or mixing different sounds. A study recorded 12 different types of call combinations used in different situations such as guarding against predators, caring for young, digging, sunbathing, huddling together and aggression. Short range, close calls, are produced while foraging and after scanning the vicinity for predators. 
Recruitment calls can be produced to collect meerkats on sighting a snake or to investigate excrement or hair samples of predators or unfamiliar meerkats. Alarm calls are given out on detecting predators. All these calls differ in their acoustic characteristics and can evoke different responses in the receivers. Meerkats who hear the call, generally the greater the urgency of the scenario in which the call is given, the stronger is the response in the receivers. This indicates that meerkats are able to perceive the nature of the risk and the degree of urgency from the acoustics of a call, transmit it and respond accordingly. For instance, upon hearing a terrestrial predator alarm call, meerkats are most likely to scan the area and move towards the source of the call, while an aerial predator alarm call would most likely cause them to crouch down. A recruitment call would cause receivers to raise their tails, and often their hair, and move slowly towards the source. The complexity of calls produced by different mongooses varies by their social structure and ecology. For instance eusocial mongooses such as meerkats and banded mongooses use calls in a greater variety of contexts than do the solitary slender mongooses. Moreover, meerkats have more call types than do banded mongooses. Meerkat calls carry information to identify the signaling individual or pack, but meerkats do not appear to differentiate between calls from different sources. The calls of banded mongooses also carry a vocal signature to identify the caller. 